business use case. When a new project is won, I want to automatically create a Slack channel so my team can communicate internally about that particular project. Obviously, the name of the project needs to pull over to the Slack channel um, and add the relevant team members to that Slack channel as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. By the way, if you need any help doing this or anything else, check out the link below. We would love to help. So as you can see here, I am in my monday.com system. I've got a ton of example stuff here. Um, and what I wanna happen is when a new item is created on the service one dashboard, or the service one board here, I want a new item to be created in my Slack channel based on the name of the project displayed here um, and then adding the relevant team members to that particular Slack channel so everyone can communicate about and have a chat and have a gossip about that particular project. I'm joking. Do serious work, right? <laughs> so we're going to need Zapier. That's the best way to do this. So uh, if you don't know how to use Zapier, if you're not familiar with Zapier, check out one of the links above. It's a fantastic tool. Swiss Army knife of businesses for sure. So we're going to head over to Zapier and then I'm on my Zaps area here. I've got a ton of different things, demos, etc. You want to create a new Zap. So to do so, press create in the top right hand corner. The likelihood is you're going to land on this page here. Uh, so go to create in the top right hand corner and we want to create, like I said, a new Zap. Now, the first thing we need to do is define our trigger. So our trigger is obviously going to be Monday.com because something has happened in Monday.com to cause a reaction to something else. So we need to connect our account to Monday. If you don't know how to do that, check the video linked above because I've definitely done a video on that. Um, and then we need to select the account. So I'm going to select this one here. And then our trigger event in this particular instance is when new item created or new item in board. So essentially when a new item is added to the service number one board, I want to create a Slack channel. Simple, right? Awesome. Okay, cool. So I've got new item in board and then that's literally my trigger. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Now I need to define which board that is. So in this instance, it's service one. So I'm going to go ahead and select the board that this applies to and go ahead and hit continue and then just test the trigger. So I'm just going to test it, see what data pulls through. So one of these over here will pull through uh, magically. Um, if it takes if it wakes up this morning sometimes it does tend to take its time it is quite early um so it could be a little bit slow this morning there we go so it's pulled some data across you can see the event post name is youtube so the name is youtube demo for the people that was a previous video actually so if you want to look at i would give that a watch on how to create uh, google drive folders automatically might be worth doing um so we're just going to pull that information across here so i'm going to continue with this record and then the action that i want to use is obviously slack right so slack i've already got my account connected you can see uh my slack account is connected here um if you don't have it you'll need to sign into slack make sure you're an admin of that slack account and then we need to choose an action so add reminder create channel create private channel delete message edit message find public channel get message by there's a ton of different options here probably stuff that i'm going to go over in the not too distant future but in this particular instance you can either create a channel or create a private channel in this instance i'm probably going to just create a private channel and then i'm going to go ahead and hit continue okay so hit continue and then it's going to ask me for the channel name now this is where we're going to map the post name so the item name from monday.com to the Slack channel name. So I'm gonna hit plus, top left hand corner, and I'm literally gonna use Pulse name. So if you can't find it, just search Pulse name, Pulse name, there we go, and hit enter. That's what it's gonna be. So the channel name is literally gonna be that. Hit continue, and then I'm gonna go ahead and test this step, okay? So if I hit test, this should come back successful and tell me that a new Slack channel, a uh, private Slack channel has been created inside of my slack account and again it's taking a moment this morning because api is still warming up from the weekend there we go so so as you can see that channel has now been created um, um happy days now that's step one in this entire process because the reality is all i've gone and done is create a, a private channel inside of slack no one can actually see it now so i then need to add users to my slack channel so it's very easy to do we just need to add another step go to slack um hit slack as the option choose event and then it's add users um invite users to channel is pretty much what it's called um yeah i just want to make sure that is the right one blah 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 blah, blah. fine mate. no 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 um invite users to channel that's the one that i'm going to go ahead and select so i'll go ahead and hit continue so what we then need to do is go ahead and enter in the channel id now what you're going to have is the option to select which channel it is but obviously that's not going to work for a zap so what we need to do is hit the three dotted button on the right hand side and change this to a custom and then on the custom we need to go to the second step of the process the, so the create private channel and then scroll down and obviously we are looking for the channel id which is 
result channel ID, it always starts with a CO and then will be a unique ID following. So go ahead and select that. So that means we're going to be adding users to the channel we've just created because that port that data is going to pull across. So then I just need to select my users. So I'm going to go ahead, hit the drop down menu. I'm going to find a user to invite. Uh, so in this instance, I'm going to invite this person. Um, so I'm going to invite Molly and then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and then just test this step. And now Molly has been invited automatically to my Slack channel. And all I now need to do is just hit publish. Uh, I might want to change the name of my zap uh, to say project one or project created uh, to create Slack channel. Now, other stuff that we can do, uh, which is pretty useful, is we could then add, uh, write the information about the Slack channel back over to our monday.com system, although not, not particularly necessary, because if you use just the in-app integration with Slack and Monday, which doesn't offer this level of flexibility but you can communicate or send slack messages to particular channels then there's stuff like that you can do um you know uh, if you've got the the channel name or the channel id associated with that particular project if you write that data back then what you can do is send automated slack messages to that channel when particular things happen so if I change the status of the, the service to books, as an example, then that will find the channel based on a trigger. So when status changes to books, so that's our trigger inside of Zapier. And then using the channel ID, um, find the channel and then send a message to say, hey, this service is now me booked, as an example. So you might want to look to write that information back. Um, to do that, if you just go to edit draft at the top, go to add another action, be monday.com, and then it would be change multiple column values. Um, and then the way you would do this is go to continue um, and then select the board ID, the board ID being services. So I'd hit that again. And then item ID being custom, item ID defined by the new item being created, item ID is the option. And then if you've got a column here, so what you do, just create a text column, call it Slack channel, lock it so no one can edit it. And then let's say, um, as an example, the project details is our Slack channel. I'll then hit the plus button, go, uh, create private channel and then i'll be obviously looking for my channel id so co result channel id hit that and then that's going to obviously be our variable for the slack channel so if i then want to say um when status changes send this message to this slack channel that can be done as an automation in the future or an integration in the future so there's stuff like that that can be done as well um again not really the purpose of this video um but gives you some context on what can be done so this is how to obviously integrate monday with slack if you'd like us to do this or automate or integrate any other part of your business check out the link below we would love to help thank you for watching and goodbye